What's up, guys? We got another Cyrax Facebook video. It's a really stupid memorial stream. So, you know, it's not worth watching, but let's check it out. What's up, Facebook? Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video on here. You know, you know, any of my Facebook profiles. And for those of you wondering, yes, this is my new, this is my new profile, my new apartment one. But, these past few weeks have been very hard for me. And I'm going to explain why. You see this man in this picture right here. This man right here. This man was one of my best friends. <clears throat> and me and this man right here. We met about three years ago. For those of you that don't know, I am a victim of cyberbullying and internet extortion and internet terrorism. Which I'll save that for another video. But this man saw what I was going through and reached out. He reached out to, to me through a mutual friend. And just instantly me and Brendan fucking clicked. Like, he became extremely close to me. We became really close from just really fast, almost instantaneously. And he knew what I had been through, because he had seen it. He saw what I was going through. And this man, he stood up for me. Several times he has stood up for me. Against several people. He has went on panels. He has been in the comments. You know, speaking his mind. basically telling them that they're pieces of shit for doing what they do to me. Well, a couple weeks ago, I ended up getting some, like, just the worst news I could ever get in my life. So I know. I'm trying to hold these other things. I know I might not sound like them, but I'm trying really hard not to get choked up. I'm trying really hard not to cry. But, a couple weeks ago, I found out that this man right here, one of my best friends who I considered a little brother, passed away. His cause of death was somebody lacing his weed with fentanyl. And let me tell you, when I got that call from his dad that he passed away, I was a mess. I was a total fucking wreck. Like, I didn't know... I didn't know how to react. Like, I couldn't... I couldn't believe that this man who had helped me out so much... And had done so much for me... 
have passed away. But let me tell you, in the short time that I've known Brendan, he's taught me just so much. Aside from, you know, the stuff that we bonded over, which was playing guitar and our, our love for the same types of music. This man taught me I just, I can't even go over the whole list of things that this man has taught me. Like, there's just so much. Like, he taught me to never give up. And to always be kind to others, even if they laugh in your face and they hate you. And that's, that's something that I'm still, you know, struggling with. But, he also taught me to not take shit from anyone. And that if somebody, you know, says something that's not okay, you step up and you say something. He taught me to always do what's right. Even if no one will stand up and say something to, be, to make a difference, you stand up and you be that difference. There have been many times where I had thought about taking my own life several times. There were two times that I had actually attempted it and both times I had failed. But some of the other times that I really thought about it, I opened like called and told him, dude, like, I'm not doing okay. I'm on the edge. And he, he told me, he's like, dude, don't do it. Because not only are you taking life out of yourself, but you're taking a life and a light away from other people. Like, he really made me feel like... I can't even explain it, like, he made me understand that taking my life isn't the way to go. Even though he understood what I, what I was going through, he taught me just so much and was there for me in just so many ways. I can honestly say that Brendan was one of the kindest and one of the most humblest people I've ever met in my entire life. Like, every time I would stay, he would stick up for me, I would say thank you. And he would say the same thing that I always say to everybody. He would always tell me, you know, no thanks needed because I know that you would do the same for me. And it was pretty ironic because I say that to everyone. Whenever, you know, somebody's getting attacked and, I, and I'll step up and I'll stick up for them. And they say thank you. I always tell them, look, there's no thanks needed. You know, I know damn well that you guys would do the same thing for me if I was in that position. So, I will admit, it was... It was crazy hearing those words come out of his mouth.
but I can honestly say that to whoever laced Brendan's weed with fentanyl, I hope you know that not only am I going to be looking for you, his dad, his whole family, we're all going to be looking for you and hunting you down and make sure that you pay for what you've done to Brendan. Because I promise you that you will see jail time. I promise you that you will see jail time. I can honestly say that these last few weeks have been some of the hardest weeks of my life. Because I've had to get reused to, you know, him not being around anymore, and it's been hard. It's been one of the hardest deaths I've had to deal with. Because like I said, me and Brendan, we grew super close, just really quickly. I can honestly say it, there's not a day that doesn't go by where I don't wish I could have, you know, spent one more day with him. One more hour. One more minute. Like, I would love to be able to spend time with him again. Even if just for a day. To say thank you for everything that he's done for me. And not only everything that he's done for me, but everything that Brendan has done to help people in general in my situation. So Brendan, I want you to know this man. Thank you for everything. And I want you to know, Brendan, that you are loved. You are missed more than you know. You truly were a good soul. You are a godsend. You came to me at my lowest. You came to me when I was at the lowest point in my life. And you picked me up and you showed me that life is still worth living. And that my story is not over and that I am going to beat this thing one way or another. So Brendan, thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for being a good friend, a good mentor, but more importantly, Thank you for being an, an amazing little brother to me, man. I know that we weren't family by blood or by marriage, but you were always a little brother to me, and you will always be my little brother. So, thank you, Brendan. Thank you for everything. Love you, bud. Rest easy, my friend.